Hi guys, Baz here, welcome back to another video. Today is Monday the 9th of January and tonight we've got some good work to do. Speaking of comments below, I've received a couple recently um, which kind of just like reminders almost. One of them was from a chap called Luke and he said, do you put cinnamon in your oats? And I totally forgot, I have a big can of cinnamon. Wait, let me show you this, hang on. It just totally reminded me that I have cinnamon and I never use it. I used to eat it with my oats all the time. Hide them back here somewhere, look. It's still nearly full, I totally, it's still nearly full. I totally forgot I had it. Focus for me, baby, come on. I totally forgot I had this. So now I'm gonna start putting it back on my oats. I've been having it with honey anyway, I just haven't, haven't been having bland oats. But I forgot about my So if any of you guys ever have any handy comments like that, just feel free to stick them below. Chances are, I've totally forgot about it and I need a reminder. Right now I'm sorting some stuff out, I'm gonna go look. Uh, tonight I'm leaving for a business trip up to Glasgow and I'll be back on Wednesday. That makes tomorrow a rest day. Back in the gym on Wednesday. As you can hear, I'm very bunged up, I've got a runny nose. I'm not feeling under the weather, but I wanna be more efficient at breathing, so I'm gonna hit some vitamin, min, vitamins and minerals. So that's pretty much you up to date. Now we're gonna head to the gym and we are gonna work on those muscle ups. The workout also includes muscle ups. It is five rounds for time. It might be a benchmark, I can't remember. If it is, I'll name it in the next clip. See you in the gym. Hi guys, Baz here, welcome to another commentary. There's a couple of things I want to touch on, but firstly, I'd like to apologise for this cold voice that I've got going on right now. And I think two things I want to touch on are firstly, the muscle up, and the gymnastic positioning and things associated with that. As you can see there, I've just performed two ring muscle ups uh, using the false grip, and my gymnastic position was fairly strict. This here is my friend David, who actually came to the, to the gym today as a, a drop-in. And uh, he, he had, he kind of had kip muscle ups, and these are his first uh, stages to get in the strict muscle up. And one of the things I just remind him of here is that you must turn your hands outwards now when you're at full extension to fully straighten your arms for the rep to count, because that's fully opening up the elbows. And then the, the importance of the position. If you can see here, my feet and legs are just pointed, my legs are together, and everything's kind of very tidy and smooth. And that way you're not wasting any, any energy. Then if you look at his first muscle up compared to his very, very last one that he achieves, everything becomes a lot tighter and it becomes easier for him. So these ones he's still kind of getting a little kip in there. But he's fully extended at the bottom, which makes a huge difference. Um, we did it every minute on the minute, and I started to fatigue at this point, so there was a few missed reps, but I tried to focus on keeping that gymnastic position in nice and tight. And here you can see David's massively improving here. And I think that's also highlights the importance of kind of travelling around a bit when you go to CrossFit, get to other boxes, get some opinions of different people, and of course you'll always improve. What are you going to call that when you upload that to the internet? <laughs>
How was that, Baz? Fucking dreadful. <laughs> well done, though. Thank you. Lying, dying. I've got all our muscle ups. It's struggling to realise that this is my face. Anyway, so guys, thank you very much for watching that video. As you can see there, my strict muscle ups are definitely progressing, they're getting there. I've tried to do strict ones during the skill work as much as possible, just so when I transfer to do it in a workout, the kip, obviously, I, you can kip a lot higher. You can catch it, you can catch the rings kind of further to your waist. When you're doing it strict, you're pulling it to here. And if you have the ability to press the dip out from when the ring is low or high towards the chest, you've obviously got the ability to press out if you're going to do it with a kip. So I think it's great to work on your, your strict muscle ups if you can do them comfortably for a good few reps. Try weighting them and things. Uh, it's a great way to build up strength for bar muscle ups as well. Uh, during the workout I ended up doing bar muscle ups. It was a good workout. It, it still shows that I need, to, I just need to keep practicing them. String them together a lot more. Uh, there wasn't that any, there was no point there where I failed to do more than one ring muscle up. I always got at least two uh, before jumping off the bar, which is which is better than last time. So just gonna keep progressing and keep working on that. And then the burpees to a six inch reach are totally different. You have to totally open up your hips, knees, everything. It's a yeah, it's a great way of practicing your burpee efficiency. So guys, thank you very much for watching this one. I do appreciate it. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't yet and comment any thoughts and. I hope it kind of helps you, I hope this video helps you a little bit on the importance of gymnastic positioning in the muscle up and things like that. So I'll speak to you guys soon.